Hi my dear students, welcome back to Gurudeva online class. Myself Siddhesh, 7th social science teacher. Dear student, in the last class, we had discussed the lesson, our constitution from the civics part. In that lesson, we have discussed the few important points like the first one, what is the importance of a constant assembly? What was the importance of a drafting committee? What is the meaning and importance of our constitution? Preamble of our constitution and finally we have discussed the few important features of our Indian constitution like the first one written constitution, the second one republic, the third one fundamental rights and duties. So today class we are going to discuss the other important features of our Indian constitution like secularism, independent judiciary, universal adult branches, election system, flexible and rigid constitution, parliamentary form of government, federal system, directive principle of state policy, single citizenship, bicameral legislature and finally party system. So let us discuss one by one in that fourth one secularism. So let us discuss the fourth features of our Indian constitution that secularism. Dear student, as you know that all are equal before the law, nobody is above the law. And also here there is no any discrimination on the basis of caste, religion and gender. And also the government considers no religion as its religion and every citizen is at freedom to practice religion of his choose and faith and also a chance to convert from one religion to other religion but that should not be forcible. So this is the a fourth features of our Indian constitution. Let us discuss the next features of our Indian constitution that independent judiciary. Here the judiciary is independent of executive and as well as legislature and also here the government nor the parliament should not participate power and functions of the judiciary and also as you know that my dear student here there are a three types of court in that first one subordinate court the next one high court and the third one supreme court in case if you not get the justice in subordinate court there is a chance to appeal the high court high court it is the state level if you not get the justice in the high court there is a chance to appeal the supreme court but the supreme court is final whatever the supreme court is going to give the decision that is the final everyone should adhere it so this is the features of our indian constitution yes let us discuss the next features of our indian constitution that universal adult franchise what is the meaning of universal adult franchise the system of electing representative through voting of adult members adult member in the sense who are 18 years and 18 years above is called universal adult branches and also here all the citizens are eligible for voting without any discrimination here there is no any discrimination on the basis of caste religion birthplace and gender then only a good government comes to power and also the constitution main aim that to establish the welfare state then what is the meaning of welfare state to provide social and economical security to all citizens generally known as welfare state it means the constitution main intention that to give the economical and social security to all so this is we can call as the welfare state and also this is the features of our indian constitution let us discuss the next features of our indian constitution that election system Dear student, has you know that India is the largest democracy in the world. Then what is the meaning of democracy? By the people, for the people and of the 
people here there is no king rule instead of that there is a rule elected representative by the people and also in the past six decades periodic elections have been conducted and here the system of democracy has been adequately deep rooted in our country and also it is a still satisfactory system in the spite of certain demerits so this is the uh, one of the very important features of our india constitution that uh, election system yes let us discuss the other important features of our indian constitution in the first one flexible and rigid constitution let us discuss what is the meaning of flexible constitution then what is the meaning of rigid constitution flexible constitution means the which constitutions is easy to do amendment such a type of constitution we can call as a flexible constitution the next one rigid constitution this is the opposite of a flexible constitution it means the which constitution is very tough to do amendment such a type of constitution we can call as the rigid constitution the india constitution it both sometimes it is flexible and sometimes it is rigid constitution so this is the features of our indian constitution and let us discuss the next features of our indian constitution that parliamentary form of government and the executive is responsible to the legislature at the central level and as well as state level also here the cabinet shall be power as long as it's enjoy the confidence of legislature if the cabinet loses confidence of legislature it has to be resigned so this is the uh, one of the very important features of our indian constitution that parliamentary form of government let us discuss the next features of our indian constitution that federal system our constitution has provided to federal system because our country consists of different languages caste races and geographical region in case the any disputes arise between the central and state government respect languages caste races and geographical region during that time the supreme court is going to solve the problems so this is the features of our federal system then let us discuss the next features of our indian constitution that directive principle of state policy our constitution has provided to directive principle of state policy they are the basis for the establishment of social and economic equality our constitution main intention that to wishes the welfare state i said that what is the meaning of welfare state to give the security to all the citizen in social and economical so that is system we can call as the welfare state constitution main intention that to give the equality in the field of social and economic this is the features of our indian constitution so let us discuss Discuss the next features of our Indian Constitution that single citizenship. So this is also one of the very important features of our Indian Constitution. Here the Constitution makes provision for a single citizenship in the order to curb narrow-minded provincialism. and promote to nationalism and also the citizens of this country have the same rights irrespective of their place of birth so this is also one of the very important features of our indian constitution let us discuss the next features of our indian constitution that b camera legislature our constitution has provided to b camera legislature the central legislature is called as a parliament and also this parliament is consist of two houses those are the first one lok sabha and the next one rajya sabha the lok sabha we consider as a lower house and the rajya sabha we consider as a upper house so this is system we can call as the bicameral legislature yes let us discuss the next and the last features of our indian constitution that party system dear student the political parties we consider as a pillar of democracy india it has many parties among those the party which wins the majority of votes become a as a ruling party and 
the rest of the party it becomes a opposite party this is the uh, one of the very important features of our indian constitution dear student so these are the uh, features of our indian constitution and this is the lesson of our constitution dear student in this lesson we have discussed what is the importance of constituent assembly what is the importance of a drafting committee what is the meaning and the importance of our constitution preamble of our constitution with that we have discussed what are the features of our indian constitution we will meet in the next class bye my dear students